Is it marketing? Is it design? It's product. You might as well be walking on the sun. So today what we're gonna talk about is product concepts. I'm gonna share with you my screen and show you what we have to accomplish. And I am going to define the product concept, find a product concept, and identify the jobs to be done. And then I'm also gonna give you a sketch of another potential product concept that would fit that job to be done. Okay, so let's take a look. A product concept is a description or a product or service at the early stage in the product life cycle. It is generated before any detailed design work is undertaken and takes in, into consideration market analysis, customer experience, product features, product cost, strategic fit, and product architecture. Now that's what Wikipedia says, and I actually would agree with that. Uh, but a lot of times what this is, is it's saying, hey guys, we have this idea, we validated the idea, makes sense, let's just show you almost like a really quick pitch deck, very similar, except for we're getting the concept of the product out. It's gonna be able to help to make sense of its visual inputs. It might be wireframing if it's software. It might be an actual prototype or a rapid prototype if it's a physical product, or maybe just pictures or potentially drawings. The first one we're gonna look at that's gonna showcase different product concepts is going to be Behance. I think I'm saying that right. It's Adobe. Uh, in the background, it used to be a portfolio website, but what this does is it actually shows different projects. And these are basically concepts um, that you know either a creative group or a team has been working on. And they're pitching them out to the public to see if it can be upvoted and how much you know adoption it would take on the market. Uh, and another one that you guys are probably familiar with is Kickstarter. If you had an idea and you want to put it on Kickstarter, you'd explain what does it look like, what, why is it valuable. Um, you can have somebody buy into it. So in this case, uh, we have an example. This is a core gap. It's an, an accessory for a mountain bike. And this team has raising money to try to see if they can hit a certain goal and then they'll be able to manufacture it. But they're actually showing in these examples different product concepts. So the concept of the product is usually shown in a video because that's one of the fastest ways to explain something in a medium. Um, but underneath it would be kind of the different uses of the product. And they're showing usually a prototype. Uh, those are easiest to convey. In this case, the job that needs to be done is that I live in a van and I have a custom built bed frame, a small you know, area that I sleep on and I don't have a good comfortable way of sleeping. And so what they did is they created this system, these little pieces of plastic here, and they actually connect with each other um, and they were engineered so that they would be able to act as a spring. Um, you can set them up to whatever size is needed because in a van it might be various different sizes, it's all custom. So they need some way of creating the, uh, you know, a spring system and that's what they did. Um, so you can see it here, here's like kind of the prototype and what, how it'll look or how it'll work. And then there's also an example of, you know, we have the little mattress above it and then the person sleeping and then this is the spring system. Next what I'm gonna do is uh, sketch a product concept to address the same. So to do that, I'm gonna have us jump over here to the iPad and I will draw you out the job that needs to be done. This is I live in a van and I need to sleep. I'm an individual and I'd like to get some Z's. I got the driver's seat up here, passenger seat. I have my bed structure. Now this bed is not universal. So I can't just go to a mattress store and buy a springboard that would make my sleep comfortable at that mattress store. So what I have to do is I have to make something custom. Um, in, in the example of the job that needs to be done, so I, I'd like this to be comfortable. I need to get good sleep and I need it to be able to custom size. So my product concept is going to be hay. So I'm gonna get a whole bunch of hay and I add it to my mattress. And now that, what's beneficial about hay is it can be whatever size it needs to be. So I can just lump it up where I need to and then I can put that underneath. Now it might have some other problems, but it is technically something that would help the job that needs to be done. And if I put that underneath, then I would be able to put some more structure and then the mattress and then that would be more comfortable. Now would it be the best? Maybe not, but it still get the job done. And that's really what matters. Okay guys, so that's the product concept. Please subscribe. You might